at least one heat-related death has been reported since the heat wave began late last week, a Pennsylvania woman who died while working in her garden on Saturday. Another death, of an elderly man in Kansas City, was being investigated. For the 4th of July holiday, Peterson warned people celebrating outside to remain in the shade and drink plenty of fluids. Anyone outside in locations with expanded areas of heat is going to have to take precautions, Peterson said. This is the peak of summer the hottest time of the year. The NWS also issued an air quality alert on Tuesday, warning of excessive pollution levels in the New York area into the evening hours. But later this week, a storm front is expected to roll through and cool down the eastern seaboard for the weekend, Peterson said providing relief to Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia on Friday night before heading down to the Carolinas. In a reversal of normal patterns, Peterson said, the hot weather will head west, hitting the central United States late in the week before reaching Los Angeles and San Diego on Friday. The central part of the country is going to get hot and humid, Peterson said. In Southern California, the heat coming out of the deserts will expand and go into the valley areas.